So students, we were doing this question in which the width of the class interval, it was different. So let us try to understand the procedure for drawing histogram for these kind of cases, right? So first of all, what we need to do is, we need to spot that class interval which has the minimum class width, right? So let me write the class width of each and every class interval. For the first class interval, the class width is 20 minus 0. We all know that class width, class width is, is equal to upper class limit minus the lower class limit, right? UCL stands for upper class limit and LCL stands for the lower class limit. So class width is equal to upper class limit minus the lower class limit, right? So for this class, the class limit will be 20 minus 0 that is equal to 20, right? And for this class interval, the class width would be 60 minus 20 that is equal to 40. Let me write this in brackets, right? The class width is written in brackets. For the third class interval, the class width will be 70 minus 60 that is 10. And for the fourth one, it will be 100 minus 70 that is 30, right? So our objective was to spot the class interval with the minimum class width. As we can see that 6 to, to 70 will is having class width as 6, uh, is having class width as 10. So this is our required class interval, right? This is our required class interval. Now what we need to do is, we need to multiply the frequency by this class width, right? And divide it with its corresponding class width to get the new frequency, right? This is the table for new frequency, right? So let us start with the first one. We have 4 multiplied by, it will get multiplied by the minimum class width, that is 10, right? And divided by its own class width. What is its own class width? That is 20. So 4 into 10 divided by 20. So 10, 2, 2 is a 4. So this comes out as 2. So the new frequency of the first class interval, it would be 2, right? Similarly, doing for the second class interval, we have 6 as the frequency. So 6 into 10, which is the minimum, uh, minimum class width, right? And its own class width, that is 40. So 60, uh, 6 into 10 by 40, 0 and 0, they get cancelled out. And we have 6 by 4, which is nothing but 3 by 2, that is 1.5, right? Now, 60 to 70, we have 3 multiplied by 10 divided by its own class width, that is equal to 10, right? So 3 into 10 by 10, which is nothing but 3. So its frequency will remain same, right? Now, for 7200, we have 2 multiplied by 10 divided by 30. So we have, this goes 3 times, so 2 by 3 which is approximately equal to 0 0.67, right, 0 0.67. So these are the new frequency that we have obtained, 2, 1.5, 3 and 0 0.67. So let us try to plot these new frequencies on the y-axis and the corresponding class intervals on the x-axis, right? So for the first class interval 0 to 20, the new frequency is 2. So for 0 to 20, we have 2. So this is the rectangle that we have got, right? This is the rectangle. Now for 20 to 60, the new class frequency is 1.5. For 20 to 60, the frequency is 1.5. Now 1.5 will lie uh, in between 1 and 2. So 20 to 60. Right? This is the second class interval 20 to 60. Now the third class interval 60 to 70. Its class width is 10 and its new frequency is 3. So 60 to 70, I am going to plot 3 here. Right? 3 on the y axis and 60 to 70 on the x axis. Right? Now for the fourth class interval, I have 0.67 on the y axis and 70 to 100 on the x axis. Right? So 0.67 will lie somewhere in between 0 and 1. So, this is the scenario, right? Now, this is the histogram that we have drawn for varying width. When the width of the class interval, it does not remain same, then we draw this kind of histogram. 
now let us try to make some inferences or observations from this table right we know let me rub this right we know that area of the rectangle or the frequency is directly proportional to the area of the rectangle right frequency is directly proportional to the area of the rectangle right the last time we compared the last two class intervals so this time also we will we'll be comparing the last two class interval so let me call this as a b c d and this as e f g right so we have these two rectangles and we need to compare the area of both the rectangles to compare their frequencies right so the area of adce or adcb would be area adcb would be length into breadth right because all are rectangles so the area would be equal to length multiplied by the breadth right so what is the length here the length is the new frequency that is 3 multiplied by the class width that is 10 so 3 into 10 is equal to 30 units right now what is the area for ebgf abgf right area of ebgf that is also equal to length into breadth right now substituting the values for length and breadth we can get 0.67 multiplied by 30 right or I can say 0.67 can be written as 2 by 3 multiplied by 30 which is nothing but 20 units right which is equal to 20 units so as I can clearly see from this that the area of this third class interval it is greater than the area of this fourth class interval right the area of the third class interval is greater than the area of the fourth class interval I can conclude that frequency of the third class interval third ci should be greater than the frequency of the fourth class interval right and as it was given to us in the initial data that the frequency of the third class interval it was greater than the frequency of the fourth class interval or you can see from the new frequencies as well 3 is greater than 0.67 so we can clearly say that the third class interval right it should have a peak right you can see from the new frequencies that the third class interval is having a peak right so i can say that because the width is small and three students are belonging to this width so the graph will be at the peak for 60 to 70 class interval so this is the method for drawing histogram with varying width you just need to calculate the new frequencies right for this the first step is to spot the class interval with minimum frequency right to spot the class interval with minimum frequency then multiply all the frequencies with that class width and divide by its own class width to obtain the new frequencies then plot the graph between the new frequency and the marks right and you will get the new histogram with varying width 